Hello everyone, I am GC Rock and in this video I'm going to be giving you my top picks from this week's vendor reset on the Division 2. I missed last week's reset so I just want to say sorry for that, but we are back this week. Before we get into this, please make sure that you give this video a like and a share, and if you're new to the channel then be sure to hit subscribe for more content from me. I am also the founder of a huge looter shooter community, so once you're done with this video you'll definitely want to check out the link for that down in the video description. So starting at the White House, we have a name Glory Days that comes with damage to target out of cover. This could be perfect for anyone that likes this weapon, but there's nothing else to recommend from this vendor really. He does have this MP5 with damage to target out of cover also. Moving to the clan vendor and there's nothing special here either, he is selling the Mozambique special, some future initiative gloves, negotiators dilemma gloves, hardwire gloves and if we move a bit further down we have a Yarl mask that some people may be after and then some Hanayu knee pads and Walker Harris knee pads that come with good rolls for builds that they work on. The final item worth showing here is a 9% disorient resistance mod. Moving to the campus vendor and we have this name Night Watcher Gilligard mask that comes with 100% scanner pulse haste and then we have the best item so far for this vendor reset in this Providence Defense holster. It needs a lot of work on the optimization station for sure but this can become a godly piece for many DPS builds. Next is the theatre vendor and a must have item. If you don't have the Fox's Prayer knee pads then you need to come and buy these now. These are the best in slot knee pads for any DPS build and all you need to do is roll on crit damage or crit chance over the explosive resistance and then optimise the damage. There's nothing else from this vendor to recommend. Heading to the DZ vendors now and starting at West, we have this named Harmony that comes with perfectly in sync. You also have some Foundry Bulwark gloves here and Eclipse Protocol knees but nothing else special here. In the DZ South Fender, however, we do have this Pointment Gilligard chest piece that is absolutely brilliant. It is low on armor, so you will need to do some work on the optimization station, but roll what you want to over the status effects, and you get armor regen too, so it's a great piece for any tank build. Also found here is a hardwired backpack, Aces and Eights backpack, and a 10.1% critical damage mod that is great for new players. And the last vendor to show you is the DZ East vendor and there's nothing special here at all unless you want a white death with ranger on it. And they are also selling a hardwired mask and a tip of the spear holster. Cassie Mendoza is not open at the time of making this video so I cannot show you what she is selling. I was wanting to do these videos on a Wednesday so that I could include her but that is too late and they just don't get any views. So I'm going to continue to upload the vendor reset videos on a Tuesday from now on and if Cassie has anything amazing I might also cover her the next day. And that does bring us to the end of this week's video and my top picks for this week's vendor reset are the Fox's Prayer knee pads and the Pointment chest piece. These pieces are must have items in the Division 2 and if you don't have them you need to go and buy them now. The Providence Defense holster is also a great item if you don't have it. Don't forget to like and share this video if you have enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel. Now we are finished you should also go and check out my amazing community that is linked down in the video description and thank you all so much for watching this and until next time stay safe and peace out.